Avery, what are you doing? Whoa. Oh, she stepped on her tube thing. Can I? Oh. No, you can keep it. It's yours. I don't want it. I don't want it. It's all yours. 100% all yours. You can bring it with you. Granddaddy's there. You can bring it with you, Avery. Don't worry, Avery. I'll see you guys later on today. Have a good day at school. Learn a lot. Be smart. Moose, I'm what are you doing? What is this? What is this, buddy? What is this? You're such a good dog. You used to bark so much, and now you're just kind of, now this one barks constantly. What are you doing? Good morning, world. What is going on? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Mine is starting off uh, great. If you guys didn't see yesterday's video, you guys need to check that out. We tested one of my rifles out to a mile. Got a little hairy, a little bit of windy bit of action. If you guys haven't seen that, go ahead and do that. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because you're gonna like it. It's a lot of fishing, hunting, and shooting. In uh, normal videos, kind of like today's. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, no, we got we got all these rods we're gonna be taking with us on this trip. I've got one rod that I was actually told has now been retired from favorite. They don't even make the rod that blank anymore. It's the one that I caught my original 10 pounder on. It, it was I, it, I love that rod. I think I've had it for almost two years now, something like that. And it's this sucker right here. Oh, okay. yeah, this one right here. Still kicking, 7.6 heavy. That's the one I caught that, that uh, big old sucker on. Not missing any eyelets, nothing's wrong with it. Still good to go. Okay, so real quick, I've seen it come through a couple times, like Rob, it's probably the new guys that are coming on the channel, but they've asked, why do I put white, uh, like white out over the, over the reels? And you guys, I mean, a lot of you guys know what kind of reels they are in the first place, but it has everything to do with the fact of those companies that I white out. I don't white out everything. I mean, I'll show you guys, look at this. Pampers, Gain, Zyrtec. So the reason is not because I, I, I'm not working directly with these people and they don't pay me. It has zero, has like literally nothing to do with that. The reason why I do it is because of the very beginning, when we all started making these YouTube videos, like at the very, very, very beginning, like couple years ago, like when I started doing it, excuse me, like <laughs> when we went to ICAST and we were walking around, everybody thought it was a joke. Everybody always laughed at us. So we're just like, you know what? From this point forward, screw them. We're no, no, it's not even a mess with them. So they don't even deserve to be on the channel. That is why I do it. it. Has nothing to do with being paid or anything like that. Just screw them. That's literally the entire thing. If they don't believe in what we're doing, then they don't deserve to be on here. But Pampers, you do me wonders. Avery loves wearing you. I promise you. That's, there you go. That's the truth on that. So I'm bringing three 7.6 heavies. I love flipping with them and I love casting uh, swim baits really, really far with them or swim jigs or something like that. I got two 7.5 medium heavies and one 7.3 extra heavy. Just in case we gotta get deep in that real thick stuff. I mean, I'm talking the backbone on the 7.3 heavy could probably pull a truck. <sighs> we gotta drop these clothes off. Oh, what else we got in here? Clothes? Are these my military shoes? These are, what the heck? All right. Apparently Sarah doesn't think that I'm gonna be ever wearing my, uh, my class A's anymore, ladies and gentlemen. We have my, my nice dress uniform will probably be never worn since she wants me to give away my dress shoes. <laughs> I'm never gonna wear it again. So unfortunately, until my house is done, we gotta keep the boat in a, well, at least it's a covered little garage dealio. It's just covered towards you. So I cleaned it up yesterday. See, no more white spots, nice and glossy. Okay, so the main reason why we came here is actually to make sure I don't have, I wanted to see if I had the stuff I needed before I went out and bought it, because I hate buying fishing stuff. You end up with a box like this. This has been laying around, it's just got a ton of line in it. Essentially, and I didn't I never even had it on the boat yet. So probably need to get that back on here need to stay here extra boxes I have 100% lost every single Mid-depth crank bed I have anything that runs between 10 and 15 foot or so or we'll say 7 to 15 foot somewhere around there All gone don't have any don't know where they're hopefully they're at the house somewhere I mean we accidentally pick up each other's boxes all the time. So hopefully it's in there So I can tell you right now. I know exactly what I'm going to need. I'm going to need what is this two ounce? I'll need some of these for sure and these are expensive. How, how much is this? This way ounce and a half okay perfect two ounces I bet you these things are about 10 20 bucks a pop does it say on the back of them they're so freaking expensive and they're just they're just tungsten like I, I'm, I'm like super stoked for this because I understand what's going on I mean the big fish are moving up over there in Florida but they're getting up in the pads and the grass you guys will see in the next couple days they get up in those pads in the grass and you throw those flukes or big giant curly tailed worms and uh, you just kind of like let them go down sink down in there and you let the worm and the weight of the worm and the hook kind of do its thing and it just kind of sinks between the pads and you just kind of twitching on back to the boat it works really well yeah well, that's pretty much how we're going to be fishing swim jigs chatterbaits stuff like that might be might play a factor if the wind starts howling where we're at but for the most part I think it's going to be punching and flipping big worms and flute. I'm, I'm pretty stoked. I'm like extremely excited for this trip, as you can probably tell by now. 
And then a pit stop here. Yes, this is, uh, you guys know this place. Probably the best tackle store in all of DFW. Oh, wow, find your words. DFW, this is probably the best tackle store. They have like everything you could possibly imagine. I, like literally when it comes to tackle, and of course they got boats, but tackle, they got my rods there. They got the favorite, all the Lunkers rods, all the John B, all the, they got all the rods there. So if you guys are in the DFW area, if you guys think Camellos is too far up north, you know, and you're looking for like some, some rods down here in DFW areas, you gotta grab them. You guys wanna see what I got? I just picked up a couple things. I, this is mostly what they're munching on. Look at this. And it's supposed to be something this big, the magnum sized. With the heavy duty six odd hooks. Set, I mean, talking these things, you can't bend these things. There's no, there's, I mean, they're extraordinarily thick. Thick aged hooks, uh, big, big baits, you know what we're going after. You know the deal. Hello, what is going on? We're back at you. And we actually switched trucks. I don't even know if I showed you guys my last, uh, we dropped the truck off, it's gotta get some stuff done. We're gonna be going on this trip together to El Florido. I don't even think I told you guys that's where we're going, but we have to do one thing, because we have a pet that, that has to eat still while we're gone. And you guys know that one of the best places, one day they'll sponsor us with free goldfish or something. Ability. We have, he's got some responsibilities, basically we gotta feed this fish. I think it costs probably, uh, maybe about, I, I would say on the, on the upper end, $20 a week to feed Gary, Max, somewhere around there. It depends where you get them. If you go to the bulk minnow store where you can't eat them because the minnows are so fast. That's what we're having. That's what we're thinking. So we put those minnows in there. You guys saw right now. He's having a hard time eating them, which is crazy because they're so fast. So we're thinking if we mix it up, put some different ones in there, might help. This is actually where we got Lashawn or lotion. We get big goldies or what? I think we actually should mix it up. I think we should get some of them down there. Maybe some bigger ones. I don't think we should get little guys. Nah, not the little ones. Da dum, da dum, da dum, da dum. Gary, oh my gosh, there's a little bit of a haze going on here. What is going on with this haze? So Perry just actually told me that uh, apparently we got a, we have a guy coming out to put a neutralizer. Uh, it's definitely not a neutralizer at all. It's something to do with... What's what you said? I know. You said neutralizer. I know I did. So I just it's something it. with a light that kills bacteria. So Gary's not going to die. No. I don't know much about fish tanks. That's why we pay somebody to come out and take care of that tank because it's so big. That's what they do for a living. All we do is put fish in there and feed them. So you're yeah. just going all in right now. Yeah, it's only 25. I'm starting at 25 here. Oh, nice. Yeah, just, just drip all eggs. over our yeah. house. Okay. Think he's going to eat them? Oh, he's going to eat one of them the, for the sure. The real question is why isn't he eating that big ball of bait? Because they're too fast. You think so? Well, there we go. I wonder if he's going to see him and crush him. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Yep. No? Wow. What's going on here, Gary? He's full. Sam, tell us why Gary's not eating those, those fish. Is he full? Is he done? I think it's just winter time. Water's too cold. Gary's still pre 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 spawn. <laughs> well, this is a climate controlled tank. <laughs> I mean, he's clearly eating where he wouldn't be alive still. It's because he's full, dude. I mean, we already had fish in there. All right, Gary, we're just gonna leave you alone, little dude. This tank will be clean soon, I promise you. We got somebody to come and clean it. I'm going to blame you because the tank's dirty, by the way. Yeah, that's okay. Everything's to blame me for everything. You Honestly, were swimming in it. I was swimming in <laughs> it the other day. I've been sitting here watching Gary for, I don't know, for the last 10 minutes or so after I told you guys we're kind of like wondering why he's not eating. I really have came to the conclusion I think he's just full. Like right now he's chasing around fish, kind of being the dominant fish in the tank as you can tell. But the thing is, is every single time a fish gets scared and or swims away really fast, he like, it like, it's like a, re it creates like a reaction strike. He like, he starts chasing it. And just a second ago he was like sitting underneath the rock over there and something came swimming by like really quick and he literally sucked it in and kind of like and then spit it back out. Didn't even like kill the fish or hurt or anything. The fish just swam away. So I think he's just full. I mean, we keep food in here just, you know, he's gotta have food. We leave for, we leave for four or five days and he's gotta have something to eat. So I think that's pretty much the deal. I think Gary's just full. See, look, he's chasing right now. He like just chases and he goes, I don't know much about why bass do certain things, but I will tell you what, reaction strikes, now I, now I can really see why, why, why they work. I'm just gonna sit here and just watch him because it's really interesting to watch. Look at him. I mean, you know where all Peric's tackle is, right? Hey boys, how you doing? Stay, 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 stay calm. We got some more coming, don't worry. What do you think? He literally could probably be anything. Just give us a crawl looking bait. Yeah, just do this. That'll work. I think Peric's got a little bit of a mess going on here. Peric needs organized life. Sam, did you find a knife in the kitchen? Okay. There's a couple knives in the kitchen, okay. We gotta make sure we tie this on though to where he, if he does completely just crush it, that he can't, uh, can't actually swallow it. What are you doing over here? My reel. We're going to see, because Gary, I keep seeing him sucking in and out fish. We're going to throw the craw in there and see if he just, because he's so used to eating the same thing over and over again, if we'll come and inhale that. Good idea or a bad idea? Like, what if he sees something brand new? Yeah, what, if, what do you think he's going to do, Perk? Sounds like, he has to leave in an hour. Are you packed? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Hey, why is it like Antarctica in here? Well, you're wearing shorts. So you're weird. struggling. Like, what are you doing over there? Okay, so sorry. Hey, hey, it's no, no, no. He's a good. camera guy. Okay. Apparently, he doesn't fish hey. ever. Oh, oh he fishes too much. He doesn't camera work. <laughs> I don't know. Someone else runs your channel if it's not him. In. Hey, uh. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam. The bait doesn't, it doesn't oh sink. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you just put a hook in there? Oh, there's a mystery oh, tackle box? Maybe not. Hold on. Yeah, don't put a hook in there. Just grab something out of there. Put a hook in there. <laughs> something. That was such a fail. Why did you put a hook in there? <laughs> Can you put like a split shot? No, there's, okay, I got it. No, I got it. Alright, stop. Please, don't do that. Don't do that. Please. Perfect. This is gonna work. No. Stop. No, I got it. I just put a bullet Stop. in the butt end Stop. of the craw. Oh yeah, you did put a bullet in there. Okay, that's kind of strange. Why do we have that there? I don't know. I think that actually came from an unboxing, actually. Okay, he's down there. Oh. 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 Oh, he doesn't... I don't know if he likes that. He doesn't know what to do. Oh. Is he gonna nose it? No. Is he gonna do it? Twitch it just a little bit? Oh. Oh! What's going on, Gary? I know the, the tank's a little dirty. It'll be clean, don't worry. Is he just not hungry? Oh. Why does, why does he want it? Get it, get it, come on. No? Look at him, he does he even want it? Come on, Gary. Come on, Gary. He's shy of braid. You think he's braid shy? Why won't he eat it? Is it the color? Eat it, Gary. Eat it. Is he gonna inhale it? Twitch it, do something with it. Yeah, 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 no? Oh my gosh. We're looking for a flight soon. I think I should focus, you know, leave Gary alone. What are you doing? What, what am I doing? Well, I have problems. Then I don't put my baits away. And that's why you buy a Guggen bag, boys and girls. It's just party. Look at that. What was I thinking, guys? What was I really thinking back then? Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of AP Bassin. Uh, again, another with a mystery tackle box. Uh, Mark. Just want to throw it out there. My fly was delayed a little over an hour, so what else am I going to do? I'm going to watch an AP Bassin. Uh, what kind of video would you call this? Like reminiscing on old videos? You know what? I'm going to do you guys a favor. If you guys have not seen this video and you guys really need to like just have like a straight giggle fest, I'm going to go ahead and link it down below if you guys know what I'm talking about. If you have not seen it already, you really, you probably need to. Real bad. Yep, I'm gonna, oh, no, oh, 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 does anybody know why I have this background, by the way? If you guys want to know, this is, uh, just take a gander at that. It just, 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 just take a good gander. I'm telling everybody they need to go watch your video, so, you. so don't worry. It's super cringe, but it's, that's why it's good. I'll just explain why I have this background. I just want, I, I put this background on there just to remind myself that I am pretty much a pansy, and these dudes were way more of a badass than I'll ever be. You talking about the pop sock? Um, yeah, they do know about that from yesterday. So, but you know what we need to get back to? I need to get back to, to oh. our lives. No, no, no. Did you order an Uber? No. Am I responsible? Come on. I need to watch your video. They're having three boxes this month, so here's two of the. You probably. I'll make sure all the lights are off. Why? You guys can't. You guys can't keep keeping that open. The lights just stay on. The guy is sitting by the highway over there. All right. And he started the drive. And it, look at this. This is my phone number associated with my account. Let's have a new account number. We're unable to connect your phone because you're... So... Oh, oh. This, guy, this guy's gonna be an earful. He started the drive without picking us up. Let me try something else. I'm also gonna throw it out there. It's, uh, it was 28 degrees here in Texas when I woke up. It's going to be 80 in Florida. Bit of a difference. So now what's the plan? Do I need to order one? You're good. Oh, yep, you're pretty good. Good to go. Oh. Pretty good. Oh. oh! Okay, no okay. You're real good. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the assumption that American Airlines is going to I'm telling you guys, they give us 126 inches. Let me do the talk. I right? promise you. Well, I'll do the talk. We don't need Rob. Get him. Oh, yeah, no, 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 you're taking the bags. That's what's gonna happen. I got it. So basically, if he can't talk him into it, it's a two hundred dollar charge and bringing rods. What should for we call this? The I'm gonna blow what you guys think this should be called. What that should be called? Yeah. Oh, forgot to tell you guys. Update on our uh, ride situation. The Uber driver wasn't really having it, so we just took took the uh, one and a half door truck. Uh, what? We're, you guys are going the, the terminals that way. Hundred bucks. He hits somebody with that, or he gets hit by a car. Florida, hello. 
Um, so I'm gonna throw it out there. So the thing about this sign is it's courtesy hotel shuttles. It is something in the morning. One, it's it's 1:20. There it is, 1:20. We actually don't even have a hotel. Perrick's idea is uh, to just hop on the first shuttle he gets here and then go to it and see if we can actually get a room just like that. I'll roll with it. I'll roll with it. What's your, uh, what's your plan for where you're? Is it wet? Oh, we just like this is so good. What? Like the most humid seat I have ever seen. Look at this. Hey guys, where are you guys staying tonight? I don't know. What's your plan? So we're seeing a random shuttle. Update. There's uh, no hotel shuttles past midnight. Oh, the door opens over there. You guys go to the office. This whole experience needs to be filmed. <laughs> this is a first. This is a first. <laughs> yeah. The lift. I've, I've stayed a lot of places, but I've never stayed anywhere that had a... Uh... <laughs> this, is a little, this is like a little go ride here. Okay. All right. Oh. Thank you. Oh, that's a wall. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have clearly made it to our hotel room. They're going to be out for three to four hours max. We're going to be hitting the road. We're going to be going up to Okeechobee. That is right with 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 Perry and Sam. Sam is probably going to do a lot of filming and just wishing he could do a little bit of flipping into a, a bed. A bed. <laughs> it sucks. I know. Sorry, Sam. Sorry. Anyway, you guys know what to do. Click that video right there if you're not seeing I'm gonna go ahead and do yourself a favor. Click the one right below it. Yeah, that one right there. And then do yourself even more of a favor and subscribe. Do it, do it. Lemon squeeze on that. I love every single one of you. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I'm about to disappear. Ah, ah.